hard drives and and flash memory can store much more data than they could just a few years ago, but I still have nothing in DNA. The genetic material in almost every cell in your body has a much larger storage capacity than a hard drive, and could potentially last for hundreds of thousands of years. The problem has been effective encoding the data into DNA. A couple of researchers from Columbia University and the New York Genome Center have now developed a process for storing 214 petabytes of data per gram of DNA. The DNA in our cells contains the instructions for building all the proteins that keep us going. DNA is composed of the repetition sequences of adenine nucleic acids, guanine, cytosine and thymine A, G, C and T. Sometimes they are called base pairs. Each three base sequence translates into a different amino acid, which are the basic components of proteins. It's data storage just like we do with hard drives, but with a much higher potential density. The first time scientists were able to write and read digital DNA data, they achieved an effective capacity of 1.28 petabytes per gram. That's fine and all, but Yanov Ehrlich and Dina Zielinski improved that by a factor of 100. They successfully coded a complete computer operating system, an 1895 French film called The Arrival of a Train at La Chata, and $50 Amazon gift card, a computer virus, a pioneer plate and a 1948 study by theorist Claude Shannon. The key was not in DNA production, but how the data was divided and coded in the first place. 